So we've all been there, haven't we? When we're waiting for a fellow rider to take their sweet ass time and uh, getting ready, or we're waiting for a group to turn up and we've got some time to utilize. Well, what could we do? Well, in this video, we're gonna show you because we're gonna give you some bike handling skills that you can apply in just five or 10 minutes in a car park like this, like, um, well, that learner driver's doing. Yeah, a few brilliant skills you can learn that will improve your cycling when you've got a languishing cyclist in your midst. Let's you go, ready, mate? mate. Yeah, I'm ready now. First top tip is picking up things uh, on, on the floor. On the floor. So this one is all about utilising slow speed. And you want to be able to move your body position across the bike. It's better at cornering and you'll just get better at bike handling. There you go, put something on the floor like that, get nice and low, and then pick it up. And jobs are good in. Now, the practice makes perfect in this scenario. So the more you do it, the better you get at it. Um, I might see if I can put it back down. You ready? Oh, missed it. Next up, what is this little contraption I've made myself here? Okay, I found two cones lying around, some old sticks. I fashioned a holder with my can of BAM from Muckoff from my puncture repair emergency kit and also my pump holder on the stick there. Made a little barrier here. You may be thinking I've lost my mind, but this is a great way of practicing your cornering. Getting low at the front, reload, jamming your outside leg in as you go around the apex. Brilliant if you're getting into racing perhaps, or you just want to improve your skill getting around bends as safely and as quickly as possible. The idea is you need to think of this inside cone as the apex of your bend. Nice open space, no one around. Get a bit of speed up, increase it as you get more confident. You take the corner and you have to get underneath the stick at the same time. So it's forcing you to be on the drops, down real low, tucking in, hugging that bend. Great one to practice with. And we have Hank here, who's going to show us how to do it. We're going to have a little, we're going to have a little showdown. So you can go the lowest. Connor, you're going to struggle with this. I know, I am going to struggle with it. I'm a bit tall. You have to obviously <laughs> This is the first the... time that I'm actually going to be good at this. You actually have to adapt the height based right. on your own height. But let's go, me Loser. versus Hank. Loser buys the coffees. Okay, loser buys the coffees. You see what I mean? The Hank's gonna come around and do the corner for the first time. You see how low he has to get at the front, and this really is beneficial for getting around corners as fast as possible. Great if you're looking to try racing. Here he comes now, approaching the apex. Nice and low the front, Hank. Oh, he's got under it. He's made it. Okay, right, I'll let's see if I can do it. He's not gonna make it. <laughs> We've lowered the bar. Round two. Here we go. Watch out, Hank. Oh, close. Right, is he going to be able to get through round three? Here he comes. Oh, get low, Hank. <laughs> oh, he's done it. <laughs> he did it. Right, my attempt now, third attempt. Is it? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I don't reckon you've got this next one, mate. Oh, he's knocked it off! One more, he's knocked one it more off! Go. No, no, he's knocked it off! I think I've got this. Yeah, I'm gonna go now. It's my turn. <laughs> right. No way. Look at the side of you. That's why you should wear a helmet, folks. <laughs> <laughs> that was me done on that one. Oh, he did it! He's done it! He's done it! Another really good skill is learning how to track stand. Now this is great if you come into a stoplight or a traffic light and instead of unclipping you can stay on your bike so you get a nice sharp well, start when the green light goes. And so what you want to do is find a parking bay like this one and then you want to ride into it and then see how long you can track stand without leaving the parking bay. Uh, I'll give it a good go. Get in your parking bay, find a nice balance point and then see how long you can stay within it. And let me tell you, this is no, not easy. Oh, I'm getting close to that line there. The better you get at it, the longer you can stay in it. Ah! Now, the more you practice, the more you get better. And this also comes in handy if you're racing on the track 
and you want to get your sprinter to go through. Track standing, great skill, and one to learn. Okay, this next one, another real simple one. You need two cones or two markers, could be an old bottle or you know a rain jacket, anything to mark a spot. You're just gonna have a fun, friendly race at low speeds. The key is low speeds because you're practicing getting shoulder to shoulder with another rider and being in real close quarters, practicing your bike handling, getting around bends and position yourself for bends as well. Key part of riding on the road and also if you're gonna try a race or two, really, really beneficial skill. So me and Hank will show you how this one works. Yeah, this is all about being comfortable with riding really close and in close proximity to the other riders. So if you do touch each other, you don't panic. You ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready to go. Right. A little thing as well, if you're gonna try this, be careful. If you're a little bit not too confident, I'd recommend doing this on flat so you can put your foot out. What are we yeah. doing? Eight laps? Eight laps, go on then. Okay, right, let's go. We're off, Hank's got the lead. Now, a key one is also practicing that hard turn, but also you're looking at trying to position yourself and take the bend ahead of the other rider, use your body. Ah, oh, I just got it! And it's just that slow speed of jostling. Oh, using the brakes at the right time too. This is a bit fun really, but it also really helps you have eye handling skills. Especially if you're a bit nervous riding in big groups. Hank's got the lead. I'm gonna try and take him. Let's see. I need to get him. Four laps to go. Ah, I can't get you! <laughs> I've got you. No! <laughs> no! I can't get him! <laughs> I got him! Ah! And Connor takes it! <laughs> takes the win! Now this is one of my favourites. All you need to do is find a white line in a car park or so, and then see if you can stay on that white line as long as possible. Now, the slower you go, the harder it is. Try and get a full pedal rev in. Look forwards and use your legs for balance. Just like that. Oh, no. Oh. Another good skill to practice in a wide open space is a bunny hop. A bunny hop is a really good one to learn how to do well on the bike because it can get you out of trouble when you're on the road. So you're coming towards a pothole, maybe there's an obstacle, um, stick in the road, something that could cause you a cropper and potentially cause a crash. Bunny hop is a great way of avoiding this. So a good way to start is using a white line in a car park, riding towards it and just doing a bunny hop over it. You want to think about how you displace your weight. So move back, front wheel up, then you're pushing over. I'll show you how to do that in a second. If you're clipped in, you can just pull up with your pedals. That's what I like to do. It's a quick and easy way to do it. You don't need to jump high, just get in that initial gap to clear something. I'll show you on the white line now. So what you want to think about is putting your weight back momentarily, then shifting it forward at the same time, popping that front wheel up. So you're pulling your front wheel up, Weight goes forward, and then that's kicking that back wheel up into the air as your weight moves forward into its normal position. Great way of clearing obstacles, also a great way of getting onto curbs if you get into trouble potentially, and it is a good skill to have in your arsenal, get you out of those hazardous situations. So there you have it, some really cool skills that you can learn in literally a car park, and you can have a lot of fun with it, but as an added bonus, your bike handling gets a hell of a lot better. Yeah, it's just so good for getting used to how the bike handles, how you can move it in different situations, especially with other riders around you too, and build a bit of confidence at the same time. Let us know in the comment section below if you've tried any of the little challenges we've shared with you today and how you got on. We'd be interested to hear how you managed it. And as always, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And we'll see you on the next one. Yeah, I think you should practice the limbo a little bit more, mate. I can practice as much as I like, but I'm not going to be able to chop my legs off. That's the issue with what me. Well, we could do. No. Maybe I, for another video. Yeah. We'll, we'll see you next time. I like my basketball, you see. <laughs>